Um, now, I wanted to make just one more appeal for you to consider that accepting the grant. Um, I know you, you, you voted not to do it, but since you haven't notified the state, they're still holding the money open in case you might reconsider. Um, and, you know, there, Kepper Overton is willing to do it, um, but if you don't want to go with Kepper Overton, if you sent them a letter, Berglund and Cram said that they would be still honor this, you know, proposal that they um, made the offer to do. My only suggestion is to move the finish date back two months since it's starting two months later. So I'm just, I think it would quiet a lot of the discontent around the courthouse issue in the community. I just think it would be just accept the grant, let it be evaluated, and continue with getting your proposal for a new courthouse. Um, you know, I, they don't have to be opposed. Uh, um, you know, Stan had a, a thought, maybe somebody else could use the building, or if that were to happen, you'd need to know what would it take to refurbish the building, because could whoever you would hand it off to be able to do that or not, that would be something you'd want to know. Um, and I, I just think it would provide some useful information and to help in your decision making. I think it would quell a lot of the discontent. And, you know, just, and go ahead with your plans for looking at new designs also. It's just a suggestion. You guys can talk about it. Um, it's really up to you. I can only make suggestions and give you some advice if you ask me. <laughs> and I did give you that list. That, that list of architects was one that, what's her name, uh, Paula Moore <coughs> given me, and I thought if you're not happy with any of the architects you got or whatever, she sent me, I didn't even look it over, but she sent me a seven-page list I asked Lowell to pass off to you. I got it. I haven't looked through it. Yeah, well, that would be, you know, if, if for any reason you weren't happy with whatever you got, you know, oh, it's I more resources. I'm pretty happy with some of the interest that we've gotten so far. Um, okay. Any future I, things, though, then you'd have pardon? a list. If you had any future projects, oh, right. then you'd have a list. And I already, and I talked to Ben Young Brown from the state AIA, and he says, if, that, if you do not like anything that you see, you should give his office a call, and they can be more than willing to help us along the project. He says that it was the right number to send out in the first place. But it's kind of funny how that gets all over the state of Iowa, because now we've gotten architects from Mankato to West Des Moines to Waterloo, and then they're all in. Okay, thank you. Well, did you have any response on the, the thought about maybe pursuing the, accepting the grant? I, I just think it would quell a lot of the, the noise and the discontent around the court, the, the, the courthouse. It would, I think people would be more willing to let it, let go of it and let it go to rest <coughs> than if you had sort of just well, looked at that. It's any consolation. I had, had met with um, Scott Hatfield. He came last week and we walked, toured the courthouse. Before we even got to the attic, he told me, he said, I wish I would have brought my preservation people along. And then he left me a note and said, he said, it's worse than I thought it was. So, I mean, here's an architect that also has a preservation mm -hmm. crew telling me that this is worse than I thought it was. So, and, he, and every time I go through, I can see another... Well, no more like, but like I said, if people, if people sort of saw that and saw, it, oh yeah, look at that. It really, I think people would be more, you know, it would help quell the, you know, people have to have attachment to it. It's like, you know, you did your due diligence with it. You know, Stan had this idea. Well, maybe it could be the museum or something. But you, you know, people, you'd want to know if it was ten million dollars. You'd say, are you able to raise this much money to fix it up? You know, it, it would just be. I, I don't know what the final number would be. I'm just throwing stuff. out numbers. I don't want to argue about it. But when we had Stan Stallsmith come over, and his estimate just to do the evaluation on the building was eighty thousand dollars. Yeah, but remember, Stan Stallsmith didn't have he didn't have experience with historic structures. Did you read his resume? I did, but not with historic buildings. Did you read his resume? I did. Okay. I did. He's a historical preservation architect. But but we okay. We're, we're, we're but, not here to argue this okay. point. I, we ain't got the time. I, no, anyway. just I, I mean, we're just, not here to argue. And know, that's exactly not, what you want to do. Again. I, I do not want to argue. I do okay, not. I'm just be, making. Please be quiet. We're going to move on. Okay. okay. Then let me. Can I ask you just no. to send us no. send the state no. historic preservation office a formal letter rejecting the money so that they can well, release to it to someone else. That was all. You prepare it. 
bring it next week and that's what we'll the the bar. <coughs> Well, like I said, I met that Scott Hatfield and then we Lowell and I met with the second judicial yeah. and yeah. Judge Drew yeah. and went over a few things on, you know, they want to be involved with any design of the courthouse and I feel that's probably you know, correct when you did involve them. And that's about it. They commend us on our efforts. Those are, those are my two main people.